He meant the forest of Njol, I suppose. It seems like he's going a mite overboard, sending all these craftsmen so far out of the way, don't it? Do you think it was them who stuck all those notice thingies onto the trees? I don't know, but I think we should go back there and look around a little bit more. All right. Let's head back to the forest of Njol to hunt for clues. Oop. I... What does X do? Oh, current location. Okay. All right. Uh, so we're going back to the gate. Going oh, back to the forest. Oh, that's cool. You can actually switch between the levels. Yeah, trip door map. Forest of Nile. I love the fact that it actually shows you which... Uh, which one you're actually supposed to warp to. Mm -hmm. uh, I keep screwing myself up because I'm not used to the convenience here. Wait a minute. If it was made with wood from the deep forest... Yeah. Does that mean that he is magically influencing all the tax in the city? Is Nial actually making the people pay? No, I don't think Nile knows. Nile does it, but then what's if all... If Nial the knew, why would he screw himself out of his own forest... Betting on a die he rigged. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. That is, that is like... Then those... Negative three-dimensional chess. <laughs> so, what's the... So the talismans are from the city, then? Yes. The talismans are from the city. So what does that have to do with the trees and the way the dice goes, then? Huh. I don't know. Hey. You're back, eh? How'd it go with all peggy puggy? Hmm. Um, well, we didn't quite manage to get your forest back yet. But we did find out that the game is rigged all the way to the top. Jinx. I knew it. The craft crafty wee roasters. Now all we need to do is get some proof that there's funny business afoot with the Lady Luck as well. If you haven't noticed people from Goldpaw doing anything, uh, strange in the woods lately, have you? Well, they were up to something over toward the old woods there. But to be honest, there's so many of the beggars traipsing in and out, I couldn't keep track of them all. Maybe that's where they're making the dice. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Listen. Hold your horses, laddie. You'll not be getting anywhere near the old woods unless you can cast Quicken Growth. What's that? It's a spell, you great bampot. You never heard of it. Ah, oh, kids these days. Here, I'll teach it to you. Ooh, radiant glow. You learned the quick and growth spell. And what kind of spell is it exactly? It makes your nose hairs grow long, and then you can use it to swing from tree to tree. <laughs> oh, ew. <laughs> Can you not figure it out from the name? It makes plants grow fast. Cast that wee beauty on a tiny little seed, and it'll make a tree as tall as a house before you can blink. The past plain is plain, uh, plain to get through down that way. If you sling, if you sling that spell at a few toadstools, you'll find the going a good bit easier. Ta. Thanks for the tip, Twigwig. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nial. Right oh! Looks like we're off to the old woods. I wouldn't sound so pleased if I were you. The monsters over that way have been a right pain in the neck recently. Okay, and people were wondering about the chest behind. It is a blue chest, meaning locked. Locked chest. Okay. Uh so question is, do we want to go on a bit of a jaunt elsewhere or keep going? Ah, uh, stick around here. Uh, we'll do, we'll do, I want to no, go to the forest. Yeah, we want to unlock the town before I spend too much time... Grinding. Yeah. Wait, that person is in debt too? Yep. Why don't you talk to them? Come and play with us, they said. You can win, win back your forest, they said. They didn't tell me I had to go all in or the odds were a thousand one against. You owe me! Yeah! <laughs> oh gosh, those birds. You owe me. Ah, oh, this game is lovely. This will be over in no time! Oh. I haven't actually fought something in a while, now that I'm thinking about it. It's, we've been doing plot stuff for... Jeez, what, the last hour? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And though I enjoy it. Yeah. It's one of those where I like, uh, plot combat 
or plot gam yeah, gom <laughs> gom play. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I, I like a I like kind of a nice division between the two. Mm -hmm. And throws me off a little bit. That actually reminds me, tactic tweaker. Level up setting, there we go. Okay, so now we're set for money. Can I level this up? Okay, so that can't be tweaked anymore. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, that weird uh, proposed, like, possible explanation for things. That would just be weird. That's the kind of, like, multi-layered type of deceit that you would find in, say, like, a mystery show. But nah, nah. They wouldn't have the little tree spirits, spriggan sprites, doing something of that nature. Man. I, I'm trying to think of a movie or a book that had a society that based everything on chance. I know there are some. I know that there were some that existed. Wasn't there one in Digimon or something at one point? I know that there's definitely the one where, you know, like a statue or an inanimate object decides. Sort of like how we have that superstition with the groundhogs. <laughs> Groundhog's Day. You know, spring won't arrive unless the groundhog says it will. Ah, oh, for goodness sake. I... Yeah, I'm trying to think of societies that are purely based on gambling. Honestly, like, if oh, I saw fiction, the... Im from fiction. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's there has to be one in Star Trek somewhere. Star Trek always explores... Uh, you know, whenever stuff like this. Well, yeah. Yeah, like there has to be an alien planet where there's. I, it's gambling. very rarely that it's a pure society. It's le It's much more common to have like a, a story element with. Okay, here it is. Uh, it's oh, yeah. much more there's common much to much have this. the uh, the the story, where like, the main characters get uh, get scammed into some kind Gosh. of horrible debt. Yep. But it's rare that it's like a full society rolling the uh, the scam. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think this is the only time it's ever been state-owned and operated casinos that are screwing everybody into being debt slaves. <laughs> like that's a, it's a bit of a new one. Okay, we want to go back the other way. I am still kind of uh, shocked. This is supposed to be a kingdom-building game, but we are... Uh, Getting close to ten hours in, and we have yet to build more than a tent. Yeah, you have a, you have a couple tents out on the plains. And I've been collecting. How long is this game? It's probably ridiculously long. I mean, long. you've only started exploring. I would say most of the large continent on the. Let me look at the map. On the western side of the map. Prepare to be boarded. You Eat still this. have beyond this. A oh, whole yeah. region to the south, the islands in the center of the map, the purple island, the desert island, the... I mean, we covered, like, half of the map for one chapter, though. Or, not half the map, half the, uh, continent that we're currently on in one chapter. Yeah, I know. I'm just wondering how the plot's gonna progress. Let's go say that you build your kingdom and make peace with some of the surrounding kingdoms. Are you... Like, are you really just going to go after the Mouse Kingdom and that's it? Why have all the continents on the eastern side? Unless you have to get uh, well, so I don't think we're going them. after the Mouse Kingdom. Period. Like, the entire point of this plot is is to build. It's like, kingdom. well, we lost our kingdom. Time to make a new one. And like, honestly, getting getting Ding Dong Dell back is probably more of a side plot than anything. Well. I wouldn't want to give up on Ding Dong Dell. No, I'm not saying give up on Ding Dong Dell either. Think but think of all like, the citizens. We and gave the up on Ding Dong Dell real lands. quick. Yeah. It's just like, well, we're too weak. Let's uh, let's go make a new kingdom. With the pirates. Honestly, I bet Ding Dong Dell is gonna attack uh, Evan's new kingdom before Evan even bothers to try and take Ding Dong Dell back. Mm, like putting mm -hmm. that out right now. Evan, Evan's not or even watch gonna... it become a more glorious kingdom because everyone loves it, and the Mouse Kingdom is having a hard time making allies. Maybe. I wouldn't be surprised if something like that happens. Maybe they realize didn't realize uh, how good things were under Leonard. And <laughs> Hang stuff. on a second. With a quicken growth spell, you could just grow your own trees. Yeah, but that would make things too easy. 
That would be hilarious if it was just like, oh, hey, we learned the spell we needed. Bye! <laughs> just go off to... Uh, did I just collect these? No, I didn't. I didn't go up this way. So are we going to get the talismans off the tree? Or what's going to happen? No. Uh, I mean, Niall and his... Uh, Niall. Did they say Niall? They haven't said it out loud. Yeah, then why I'm, correct me if you don't know? <laughs> I'm trying to think of the pronunciation. It's like my dad trying to tell me that Labyrinth is is pronounced Labyrinth. <laughs> he was very vehement about that fact. I was very vehement that he was wrong. And then we started watching the movie and they're like Labyrinth. And he's like, huh. Well, I'm going to continue to say Nial. Then stop that... correcting me. Mm. <laughs> I mean, do you want me to look it up? I'm. It might even be derived from a real name. Yeah, probably oh, is. Oh, but this is fingerprint operated. Aha! Foiled. Hi, you. I guess. I guess we're actually only seven hours in. Really, we're only. Yeah, I guess we are seven hours in. Oh, hi. They got a whole facility here. Wait, didn't you say that the monsters were fairly uh aggressive? Wow. Oh. They've been busy. Hmm. So this is where they're making the trick dice. Now, how shall we do this? Charge in, shouting our heads off? No. No, we can't draw attention to ourselves. We need to slip in undetected and find out what they're doing. Hide yourselves. Some swabs are coming. Uh, why did they have to build it so far away? Huh. Fool, any c closer and people of the city would surely discover it. They're from Goldpaw. They must be. <laughs> Arr, I have a mighty fine idea all of a sudden. <laughs> you know, I think I might be thinking what you're thinking. Huh? Punch. And of course. take their clothes? I'm sure this will work, considering neither of them dog are dogs. Faces. They need <sighs> makeup, and... Uh. Guess I look like Gohan now. <laughs> Guess I should have expected as much from a pair of Sky Pirates. Are you sure this is going to work? Only one way to find out, lad. We'll keep a watch out here. Off you go and sneak off into that there dice territory. Just don't be too long, all right? Guess we don't have much choice. Come on. I thought I think he was saying dice factory, not territory. <laughs> They... really? <laughs> really? <sighs> <sighs> I was sure he was going to see through our disguise. We don't have muzzles, or ears, or drool, or lapping tongues. Well, he couldn't see anything anyway. Didn't or you see tails. his hair was in front of his face? Looks like this might just work. All right. All right. We need at least two forms of proof. The first is something trying, tying Pugnacious directly to the deception. Some kind of documentary evidence would be ideal. Next is evidence of how they're manipulating the dice. My guess is they're not using magic. Oh. Really? But how else could it be done? <laughs> oh, there are ways. I have a few different... We have a few different techniques for manipulating things from a distance from where I'm from. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody here has come up with something similar. All right. All right. Let's find that proof. Let's do it. These disguises should help us get close to the people who work here. Maybe we can pick up some clues. I wonder if somebody's ever going to watch one of these videos and wonder uh, why we don't... Well, no, I don't know. Why what? Uh, you know how yesterday you uh, had mentioned somebody thought that you were just the official voice actor? But... Oh, there are humans. Oh, there are humans working here? 
No, like, I don't necessarily want to be mistaken for the actual voice actors because I'm not British and I still feel pretty bad about attempting accents that I have no business doing, but that's what I, I just them. want somebody to, to uh, honestly assume that, the, that we're both the voice actors and they're like, man, they don't talk much during this series, do they? Anyway, <laughs> I'm sick to the back teeth of churning out regular dice day after day. When will I finally be allowed to work in the trick dice department? So they want hey to make trick dice. How many dice have you made today, friend? I'm feeling especially productive. I think I might even break my daily record. Why do they need so much dice? Huh? Hmm? What's the spare... Where's the spare control unit? I'm certain I left it there on the table. Yep. My superior told me recently that despite the appearances to the contrary, these devices are not actually powered by magic. He says, in fact, they rely on technology that we imported from another kingdom. I'm not sure I believe him, but it looks like magic to me. Ah, it's just mechanisms or something. Hmm. Hmm? How dare you? I'm not idling. I, I have something very important to do. And what about you, hmm? Shouldn't you be getting back to work too? It makes me wonder if there are human nations, or if they're all just bandits and pirates. Don't Cause, know. Because the only human nations that we've come across, or at least organized societies, have been pirates and- Whoa, look at that guy's hey face. There. Hey there, have you seen my blueprints? Hmm. You don't know, even know what blueprints are. Ah, forgive me. I should have taken better care of them. Hey, look at that oh. guy. Yeah, all oh, nice dice. All the dice meet the required standard. And that's this week's quota met. So now's the time to relax. Arf, arf. <laughs> yes. Goldpaw has long been famous for its tricks and contra contraptions, you know? It's our job to take all this knowledge and use it to create ever more exciting dice. And only we high officials of the realm are permitted the privilege of working on them. Such an honor. Such a great honor. Hmm? This? Oh, it's a proposal suggesting a few improvements to the basic dice design. Yeah. We cannot go on making the same thing forever after a while. We should be seeking out new ideas all the while. Yeah. You must excuse me. I'm rather busy at the moment. I must assemble all the necessary documents in order to process the factory accounts. Yeah. Sometimes I regret choosing to work in accounting in the accounting department. Constantly hounded by everybody. And never a word of thanks. So where yeah. are the blueprints? So... Specifically, a blueprint. Yes. And an account. Pile of dice for the casino. Nothing to do with Lady Lux die, though. Ah, you obtained Set of signed it. instructions. Oh! Look at this! It was in the drawer! It's Pugnacious' signature at the bottom. Uh huh. It looks like instructions on what he wants them to build. I'm guessing these were supposed to be destroyed. Luckily for us, someone didn't do their job. Well, that's certainly undeniable proof. Wonderful. We still need one more piece of proof. The device for ma manipulating Lady Luck's dice that you were talking about? Yes, there must be a prototype or a spare somewhere around here. Let's ask around. We already know where it is. The device for the, the one dice. That the one guy <laughs> had just left somewhere. Okay. Workbench, nothing special about it. Got a ah. remote device. The remote oh. device? Roland, look! Huh. This must be it. And based on all this stuff, it looks like what I thought. A remote control for Lady Luck's dice. It's just like you said. Oh, Evan, sorry. <laughs> it's just like you said. A lucky guess. Anyhow, Pugnacious must have one of these. So, this is how he keeps the taxes so high. And how he stole Neal's forest from him. It sure seems that way. And it's also how we're going to make him pay. Are they going to challenge him to a dice game with Lady Luck? Yep. That's everything we need. Come on, let's get out of here. So effectively, they're going to, uh... I, give if him, I'm... Give Nial back his forest. Whoa. That's new. 
a mossy uh, monument. If if it really goes the way that I hope it goes, they challenge him for gold paw and take the take gold paw for their own. Unauthorized intruders detected. Initiating attack sequence. Oh my goodness! Tani! Batu! Blimey! Sorry! Looks like we got rumbled! What's this horrible thing doing here anyway? I don't like our chances, girlie. Gah, they're trapped. Come on! Then we have to help them! Whoa, boss battle. Ball battle. Oh, it's got like a weird mouth thing. I got yeah, it. Yeah, it has a mouth in its chest, but there's also a crystal within. But this is not the right character. This is the right character. Take that! Take that! Oh, that does a fair amount of damage. Dang! Now oh, it fires its hands. Wow, he is ludicrously weak. Take that. Pew. Take that. Pew. Yeah, and if you upgrade your uh, Hidleys or Higleys, sorry, Higleys. Well, bit we more. gotta, we've gotta get a, a building for that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Phew! I thought my goose was cooked there for a second. Looks like the people in the factory didn't notice the rocket either. We got lucky there. Well, did you find your precious proof? Mm. Yes, we found the device Pugnacious uses to control the die's movement. Ah, that's the stuff, lad. Now we can hang the swindling dog out to dry. We sure can. With this thing to help us, it'll be it will be able to expose him for the fraud he is. Evan. I need you to be sure you're okay with what we're about to do. We'll be interfering directly in another country's affairs. If it doesn't go well for us, things could get ugly. And if they go really badly, you could be making an enemy of an entire nation. Are you willing to take that risk? Stealing from one's own people is unforgivable. We cannot stand by and let that happen. We have to give the citizens of Goldpaw the country back. That's the stuff, man! That's the spirit, Evan lad! Yeah! Yeah! I knew you wouldn't let them him walk all over them! Oi! Ye grow more kingly by the day, your majesty. Uh-huh. You really are starting to sound like a king, you know that? Alright, our leader has set out his policy. Time to kill Pugnacious. <laughs> Arr. And now, it's time to implement it. Okay, so for starters... No, don't disappear. They do disappear after a while. Good. Uh, anyway, there's some loot in here that we never got to grab. Treasure chest. So we got an elite sorcerer's ring. Unfortunately, with all the semi-randomized -randomi loot, it's probably not very useful. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we've also got a Higgledy stone over here. A Higgledy stone, yes, we need more Higgledies. A voice can be heard. Well it, met, traveler. It's the same Show thing. Show me what we've got. I, feel, I like you a lot. Mushrooms. Ooh. Mushrooms. Okay, it wants gunk shrooms. Gunk shrooms, specifically? Yep. <laughs> well, traveler. That's what I mean. That's the greatest offering that I have ever seen. And it's blue, with mushrooms coming out of it. The higgledy inside the stone comes flying out. Muttonbane, the mushy, has joined <laughs> you on your adventure. <laughs> Muttonbane? Yeah. He he just has a, a beef he against sheep. He sees sheep and he just, <laughs> he just dries them out. Just... <laughs> I, I want to try mutton someday. I would too. We should uh we should see if there's I've any had like lamb, obviously. traditional ish um Don't they make stews and yeah. 
and sort of puddings and other things with mutton because it has to be cooked an awfully long time for it to uh, get soft. Yep. Uh, and I, I almost caught myself saying awfully rather than awfully. <laughs> Oh, right. I can save in town. I was like, I haven't saved in a while. I probably should. They haven't been giving us uh, that many save points. But I guess you don't need to. The mutton could be really good if made right. I'd like to go to England someday and just like food tourism and regular tourism, but mostly yeah, food tourism. Yeah, going on a trip to the, to the British Isles and stuff. Yeah. That would be fun. That would be fun. Hmm. Ah, you again. And did Lady Locke provide evidence of the dastardly machinations of which you imagined us guilty? Master Pugnacious, you have deceived Nial and your own people. The very people you're supposed to serve. Hmm? More wild accusations. And where is your proof, hmm? Did you find evidence of trickery? Some ingenious device hidden somewhere inside Lady Locke, perhaps? Come on. You know we're on to you. Why not drop the act? There's no act to drop. I am innocent, as mistress, as the mistress of fortune herself will attest. Huh, will she now? Well, it's not such a bad idea. I hear she's the one who passes judgment on legal matters around here. How does a trial sound? Indeed. Hmm, it sounds like a very fine idea, indeed. Yes, this is the way of gold, Pa. All matters of state, be they legal, political, or otherwise, are decided by the roll of the sacred dice. And as ruler of the great nation, I'm more than willing to submit myself to the judgment of Lady Luck. But know that if I'm found innocent, I shall treat your attempts at sedition with the gravity they deserve. You will be punished for, the crimes, for crimes against the state. Do you accept my terms? Mm. We do. Then we will begin the preparations right away. Come to the square at the appointed time. 